some person or two are going to have their house destroyed. Then maybe we could do... Yeah, the rock's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was... It, you know, we can't be saving our rocks all the time. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines here in Yugoslavia with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. We are going to be trying to use the very limited space that we have available before we can unlock more squares because we don't have that availability yet. Uh, that possibility to be able to do that we can use our limited space to try and get enough population to hit the next milestone and i'm pretty sure that is going to be a tall order a tough challenge we need about six seven thousand eight thousand something like that and we don't have much unlocked we have the isle of roy which is what it's going to be named as now that we started working on in the last episode and everybody just said just call it the isle of roy why not roy one of my patron supporters thank you very much for that that's what it's going to be called we've got a little bit of space here and then we've got this section over here that we're coming up on now and we do have our industry that's laid out here and we started creeping our industry onto the other side but we don't need a huge amount of industry so what i'm thinking of doing is using this little road that we've got this little system here as a split between the two sections so we'll keep our industry up here we've got some farms starting maybe it'll go over the road to the other side but then this section here leading down to the beach we're going to come in there with some brand new residential complexes and i'm thinking of getting a nice little shopping complex some mass transit in there and some water wall architecture as well and that will help blend from the low density up into the higher density over here and then as the city grows and expands and moves on i'm thinking of using this little section here around the river we've got some extra height here some little lakes we've got the river that splits and this big land mass and a bit further on as well that will be our downtown our high rises our huge offices all of that will be built into there but before we get to that let us dive into this little spot down here so first of all we need to deal with this little setup here i've been placing a lot of recycling centers and things down here which has obviously polluted the land and i think we just need to do a little bit of maneuvering that around i'd like to sort of get that into this central area here if we can let's just see if we can get some of these roads lined up down here i pop a little curve in there and that'll be good so that's a double little entrance and exit out of there Mate, i like i like just sort of putting roads together seeing what shapes we come up with and is that going to go straight through to there it is excellent so then we can maybe use this little section and start adding to we've got all the water things going on there this one can move as well oh, it's not going to back up there how much water do we have running through like not a huge amount and these are the water treatment plants aren't they yeah so i'll tell you what we're going to do then we're going to extend this out and we're going to add that next to it over there which will be good there we go so that will clear out that problem let's make sure we hook this up and don't forget there we go excellent we can always add some more parking and stuff in there i'm gonna delete that and then that pollution there was pollution there wasn't there yeah that should start going down and then these over here where we've got our trolley bus depot that can stay our incineration plants that can definitely move and i'm wondering whether we could what i don't want is when people are coming down into this city that the first thing they see is all the horrible incineration and stuff like that i mean expect to see some sort of factories although it is blocked a bit by the the trees and the rocks and the stuff that we've got going on here so maybe not too bad but yeah let's uh, let's slip some of these over here and utilize some of this space and yeah i'm gonna put together let's have a look i think i do want these coming off this back section over here yeah and because i know these get quite busy i am thinking of giving each of them their own little road as well sort of like we've done over here so maybe two to a road we can flatten out the land and see how that goes and i think yeah that will probably help so let me just pop all these over here there we go we go with something like that we'll just draw the road sort of up to there so they can get in and out of each of the compounds and that should be fine probably could do with just fitting a little bit of parking nope that's entirely the wrong tab a little bit of parking in here as well oh unfortunately it's three wide instead of two wide 
Do I want to put a bit of parking over to one side? I really don't want to. It's just going to make me twitch, isn't it? We've got this parking down here. So I think what we'll do is we'll extend this out to there. And then we'll add another little bit of parking in and we'll sort of go with that. And that might just do for now. If we do that one over. Yeah, and we'll, we'll have a think about what can go in the end here. Excellent. Right, okay. So this pollution is going to take some time to go down. And then that'll be fine there. The cemetery just for now i'm gonna set it to empty oh do you know what i think this one over here needs to be emptied as well which do we have access to the crematoriums yet yeah, we do cry preservatory and crematoriums just wondering whether we could just squeeze in yeah otherwise we're gonna have no collection at all around here why don't we just run a nice little grass lined road up there we can have one on here so back in onto where the cemetery is which is good everybody's pleased excellent you're also gonna get a nice little parking lot next to you there and then over here we've got this little spot here so we could literally i'm gonna pop that off the side road yeah i was wondering whether we we're gonna eat lose the tree and we did that'll be nice um, and then we can just pop another big tree in there what have we got what's the biggest tree actually we'll do a couple of three of these very good now I'll empty into there which then means i mean we can collapse this one using um the collapse feature collapse building feature in our disasters tab which is over here somewhere but i think we'll be okay let's just make sure this has got the power it needs to keep working there we go we'll remove that right okay so now we've done that i'm actually gonna just get rid of these roads we still need that road there we need to have a look at this and see how we're gonna set this up and what i'm thinking is oh we'll have a quick sip of tea just before we do that noticing we're getting a lot of traffic down here just before we start building up in that area what have we got going on here we've got some errant stop signs over here i think let us have a look yeah let's remove those stop signs you keep going through technically it should be the people on the side stop not the people on the main road but I, to be honest it's probably going to get on with no problem at all without them um yeah we'll let that run for a bit so i like this sort of look we've got along here of these newer buildings that we've got uh, which are fantastic so i'm thinking maybe some nice colorful wall-to-wall -wall buildings that face these and then sort of blend down into these ones that have got their fantastic sea views over here will work very well so let me just see if i can work out i'm sort of going for the idea that it was maybe it used to be set up for industry and then it's been changed over time so i'm just wondering whether copying that over to here would be a good centerpiece so let me just do that but we're going to change up the rows that we've got i'm definitely going to be upgrading this road through here to a oh, i'm trying to think now where all the roads are there we go to a four lane there we go and then it goes down to the industry one over there so yeah let me get marking some things up and then we're going to see how this area looks Okay, there we go. Nothing too complicated, but nicely mirrors that. We'll do something a bit different here. And then I'm thinking the connection that comes through down here needs to be these two roads as well. So what I'm probably going to do is grab that one. Oh, that's actually the industrial four-lane road, isn't it? Oh, maybe we can put that one back to the end. Actually, I'm going to grab that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. So we're going to change that to the four-lane road coming through here. And I think we're going to have that come all the way down and some person or two are going to have their house destroyed. Sorry about that. I am sorry. I am sorry. And then we're going to do the same for this one through there. Just so people can easily get around. I think that could probably just come straight in. Yeah, excellent. And then this one here. There we go. I'm going to change that one to that. as so That is still sort of the industrial side there we go excellent and i've got shopping plaza marked out over here um which is where i would like a couple of items to go uh, which we have in here so we've got this one here the open air mall phase two and then we have the contemporary department store and i think it's before it this one here isn't it open air mall what's this one here traditional department store so actually maybe we could fit a few items in there it might just mean that these houses go as it's going to be quite a noisy area but as we open up the beach along the front here and continuing along we can have 
what Valley Hills is going to be, these mid-century modern buildings. So actually, now that I've done this, I am going to just remove these up to the corner there. I'm sorry, you probably paid so much money for your properties, but they've gone. There we go. We're going to remove the trees that are in here as well. Oh, and the power's going from all the other places. Um, let's just see if we can hook them up temporarily. We bring that into there. That will do nicely. You'll be happy, I'm sure. And then we're going to come off of this road here into our little shopping complex. So I would like an asymmetric... Oh, I'll tell you what. Being without my contact lenses at the moment is doing my nut. Trying to actually see what I'm doing a lot of the time. That's what I want. It's becoming very difficult. So I want that one there. And then I'm thinking like a pedestrian road like this. Um, I don't want to hook that in there. Just sort of thinking the best way to do this. And if we have the parking coming off of here, how far out was that? That was 600. We could go 450, 480, 420. I don't think we can get all the way there. We'll go like that. That's fine. And then this row, do I want to hook it up off of here at all? No, I want them to come down the side and around, or I want them to cut through there. And this can be all commercial here as well, so that'll probably work out. Okay, let's just have a quick look how large these are. So that's quite big, that's quite big. I think these are reasonably... Yes, we definitely need some more roads in here. There we go, let's go with that. Nothing too complicated. And then we can sort of place these buildings around. Let's turn that off so I'm not getting blinded. And see how they look. That one is actually quite large, isn't it? Back to back with these ones. Just thinking what would be a good one to see from this sort of road down here. I think maybe these open air ones. If we could... Oh, are they going to fit in back to back? Oh, that is so close. That is so close. If I move this road over just a squidge, we might be able to get those in. That's what we're going to do. Is we're going to do that one there. And then I'm going to measure. Yeah, it's exactly the same distance as that. So we can do some mathematics. So we need to go back another 360 and a blob. So it needs to be there. Is that correct? Is that right? Oh, that's a little bit too far. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. There we go. It seems like we're going to have a tiny gap in the middle anyway. That's fine. And I do love those buildings. I think they look great. So then we can bring that down to there. And we may lose this little nub. We shall see... Uh, they will get some power once it hooks in. I think that looks nice. Coming down there, we can get some tree action and some decoration and stuff going on. Um, and then these other buildings down here as well. Definitely going to want some parking and things along here. I mean, it might just be that we go like this. Alongside this road. So we've got space for trees and things in there. We're going to lose that one. And then I'm going to have the other one against there so how's that looking as we're coming down so we are seeing the back of the stores then we get the open air places down here it's got like a bit of an industrial vibe isn't it and as we fill that with parking hamilton's oh now if that was the other way around well it's got hamilton's there i think this needs to face the other way around doesn't it to really attract people let's just do that there we go and what about this one yeah that's got the front there yeah that's looking good i'm liking that excellent then we need to pepper some parking around here. And I'm thinking for the parking, we can go for these larger parking lots, which I think are in here somewhere. Yeah, we've got these ones that came with the Railways of Japan content creator pack. Um, and I'm thinking if we could sort of alternate these coming through here like that, like that. Yeah, we'll just fit those three in. And what have we got? Oh, that's like a plaza. Oh, OK, that's fine. And then the parking either side. I like that. Bit of a gap there. Then maybe we could do... Yeah, the rock's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was... It, you know, we can't be saving our rocks all the time. Uh, we've got these little small station front... Oh, they're plazas as well. What's this one? Pay parking small. So maybe a little stretch along the back here. How big are they? One, two, three, four. Let's go for... That's all our pedestrian rooms, isn't it? Um, let's go for this one here. Oh, that worked out perfectly, didn't it? There we go. Individual little parking. Oh, they're using it already. Individual little parking lots out the back. What have we got? We seem to have some warehouse delivery there. So what we're going to do, actually, is remove these two when the game's back. We'll remove that one and that one, as that is some warehouse delivery type roads. And then we'll go for an industrial road. What could we fit in there? 
Oh man, that almost... Oh wow, that clips in there. I haven't got anarchy or anything. That actually doesn't go too bad, does it? As like an industrial road, they can deliver stuff up there. And then we could even... Oh man, do we have... Let's have a look under airports. The airport skirt thing for blocking off that. I don't think we do. Apron, apron, that's what I meant. Not skirt, no. We've got to build an airport terminal to get those. But that'll be something we can keep in mind let's maybe hook this up with a bit of power because they're all struggling can we squeeze some in here yes we can there we go excellent very good right let me place a little bit more parking and try and get this sort of fleshed out a little bit There we go. I think that's looking good for a start. We can definitely get some decorations and things around here a little bit later on. I know we've got parking along the back here and I've put a path there, but I think we're going to sort of imagine that maybe some of this is, even though it's a pedestrian path, that trucks can drive very slowly to deliver late at night on there. Something like that. We'll just use our imagination. Okay, so we're going to have a couple of different zones here. So let's get our zoning sorted out. We've got Mulberry Heights taking up far too much room. So we're going to remove that all the way back to there. And then this area is called Shopping Plaza. We're going to expand that to take in all of this area down here. Nick a little bit of Valley Heights. There we go. Excellent. Which means we're going to need a couple of new names for our zones. And also for this zone, I'm about to pop in here, which I forgot to do. This is going to be a very big zone of lots and lots of water wall buildings. Right, so a couple of names have been chosen. We're going to name this one the Deet Deet Plaza. Out with all the shops. So thank you very much for your support on Patreon. That is very much appreciated. And this is going to be called Night Owl Heights, as I like the way that sign uh, sounds. So thank you very much as well for your support on Patreon. Link below if that's something you wish to do. If not, totally understand, but it really does help at the moment. Most of that is going towards helping me with editing my videos, which is an absolutely fantastic assistance to me. So thank you so much for that. I'm going to set all of those as wall to wall. Um, over here, we're definitely going to need a bus route. So let me just actually pop that in uh, before I forget. So we've got this one down here and then we've got this one over here. But then we have, of course, we've got our trolley buses that will come along here. And that's the nearest stop, I think. Yeah, so maybe we'll allow the trolley buses to bring people from down there and over here. And we'll have, we've got so much space for other bus stops in there. We've got this one being used there. We're going to go from here. Oh no, before I do that, let's remove that. I'm going to set these roads to one way. We use the one with the wide sidewalks. And that comes in on that way. So I'm going to go this direction. Oh, 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 please don't all leave. Let's try drawing it in and see whether it goes the way I want it. Well, one did and one did. Okay, there we go. There we go. Excellent. And like that. There we go. So I want the buses to go around in that particular direction. So let's grab that. Let's pop that a little bit further along. Here's the bus. Oh, it was an intercity bus, wasn't it? Um, so if we have that come up and literally stop in here, I'm going to say here, here, and then just come back again. And then we can always change that a little bit later if we need to. I'm also going to make that a small bus. So that's this one here. Uh, so that's the DEET deep shuttle i'm going to call that one uh, it's got two vehicles okay could we go for mini buses do we not have a normal bus depot what have we got here oh, we've only got biofuel bus depots what's the smallest biofuel bus that we've got it's still this pretty large bus isn't it i wanted this mini bus could we pop in hmm a normal bus depot as well. I think we could. If we grab that, I'm going to utilize this space here where we seem to be putting all of our depots and stuff. That's why I just go up to there. It's going to cost us more money, but I really want those types of buses. Uh, yeah, there's fine. Oh man, need to sort out the land a bit. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to come along all the way to there. Excellent. If I put a bit of parking in there, is that going to assist with the lie of the land? Parking, parking is this one here. Or is it going to go winky wonky? It's going to go winky wonky, isn't it? Okay, I'll have a look at that in a sec. Let's just get this bus stop in. 
Oh no, the bus stop soon, isn't it? There we go. Line details. Zoink, zoink, zoink. Little mini bus. There we go. And it's got six in there. I think two is more than enough. And then we'll see how that goes. And then I'm just thinking for the parking. If we do this instead. There we go. Lots of parking. Busy, busy road. I could probably upgrade this. Now it's getting super busy to the four lane version, which I can't do in front of this. What is that road attached to? Oh, it's attached to this harbour thing, isn't it? Darn it. Um, I can upgrade that one. I can upgrade this one. Oh, another auto save sippity moment. This one seems to be going in one direction, doesn't it? It really doesn't need to do that. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that as well. Oh, no, can't do that as well. Sorry. I'll go back to this one. That was so it can turn around, wasn't it? And that's coming down there. We'll go that way. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Excellent. I think that'll be okay. There's a bit of parking down there. Now we've got parking up there. Cool. All right, we'll see how that goes. Let us get some of these buildings in here. So how is the pollution coming along? It's all gone. Fantastic. So I'm thinking along the front here, we're definitely going to want some offices first. Buffer the sound, all of that good stuff. So let us just pop those in. And then I'm thinking, I can't remember the wall-to-wall -wall commercial. Is it high density or low density? What does it say? Commercial wall-to-wall... Do, 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 do. It doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it's low density, although I might be wrong. So I'm going to pop a couple there, sort of buffer the noise, fit in with that. And then we're just going to go all of these. Mm, what's the noise like over here? This is quite a bit of noise coming from there. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get a bit clever. We're going to go like that. And then we're going to go offices there as well this is going to end up moving is that empty jet i don't think it is no all right and then we'll let that grow in there and then we are going to need some parks and things but i'm going to let this grow in and then we're going to sort of maybe monkey around with it a bit as well actually before we do that we're going to need some services in here we're going to have a lot of people living in here so maybe this little square here could become a service area instead I think that would work quite well. So maybe let's just take this road here. And we're going to use this one. And just sort of add a little bit of interest into here. If I go up to there and go to there. And then we can maybe add some services. So I want this high capacity. Oh, nice. What does that look like at the back? Yeah, that looks good. Does that fit in there okay? That fits in there. Absolutely lovely. Very good, very good. And then this little spot here we're going to have to be careful of because I can see the lie of the land and it goes back a bit. Oh, there we go. That's okay. Sort of. What height's that? There's a bit of a height difference there, but yeah, it's not too bad. We're fine. Um, for the fire engine, where is the nearest fire station? So we've got this little one over here looking after everybody. And he seems to be doing okay. The high capacity fire station would fit in here as well. Let's do that. Because then the police station, which is only small, can sort of go in here. And that can go right opposite there on the corner. Oh, and that'll be good. And then we can definitely... Do you know what? It's just my most favourite thing now, putting in car parks everywhere. I just think it changes the look of an area so much. So uh, this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. Oh, there we go. Makes all the difference. And we've got a little space here, which we could do a little bit of decorating in, which we're going to come back to. But oh, I'm loving the way that those buildings look in this area. Excellent. Um, we are going to need some sort of park in here. And I'm just thinking, before we try and have these buildings all spawn in, um, let's maybe do that. I've also got a couple of these roads that need changing. We're going to upgrade those through here we're doing trees this way and then the other roads going up and down i think that's looking okay where shall we put the park how about we use this sort of area here for a nice large park what about something like a community cricket pitch uh let's just pop that off of actually off of this road here we'll get it as close to the side as we can that looks nice and that had a huge area of effect as well which you probably didn't see but yeah there we go so that will cover all of this and then we can do some other decorating in there when we need to. Okay, uh, let's see then what we get 
growing in here. So yeah, we've just thrown down a load of services, we put in a park, we've made the area attractive, filled everybody's needs, and now they're moving in. Um, but that's something that's going to change in City Skylines too. We won't be able to do that as much. If you want to know a bit more about the uh, the way land value is going to work, check out my zone and signature building dev diary deep dive, as I've got all the information in there. Okay, so how are things going? We're getting offices coming in, which I didn't think are the wall-to-wall -wall type. Is my zone not set up correctly? Let's have a look. So that's fine. And then we've got the wall-to-wall... Oh, I thought I put the office one in here as well. Maybe I didn't. Darn it. What's that one there? Office wall to wall building. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well, that's fine because what will happen now is these buildings that are leveling up will actually disappear. There we go. And they will come back as the proper wall to wall buildings, which look like this. This is exactly what I want to see. Loving all this decoration, the color. And that's what I'm after. Something that goes from this smaller size. And then to the larger size, we're going to get over there. Oh, we've got a few wrong buildings popping in over here as well. They're going to disappear and go back. Excellent. Yeah, and I think it's high density commercial that we need, not low density. So I'm going to change all of that. And then hopefully we'll get the correct wall to wall buildings in here as well. It's been it. I, I, you know, I forget things sometimes. It's just the way it goes. And also what probably doesn't help this little area over here is I've included it in the wrong zone. So let me just add that into this zone. There we go. We're going to point that away there. Excellent. And now we're going to get the correct buildings building in everywhere. Oh, there we go. I'm loving the way this looks. Fantastic. I put these paths along the side here so people can walk across if they need to. We're now going to get a huge influx of people turning up. Uh, what have we got going on here? There's no stop signs, is it? No, it's just people crossing over. I think our road infrastructure will hold up. <laughs> Already we've got fires sprouting up here, but they're being taken care of. Of course they are. We've got everything covered. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So this little spot here, we could sort of turn that into more of a nice little zone, couldn't we? Let's have a look. Yeah, if we just sort of take this road that we've been using here, and we're going to bring it out from there and bring it up to this one. There we go, very good. We could probably then fit a little bit of parking, not too much parking around here. If I can get into the right menu option again, there we go. I don't think that's going to fit in. That'll probably do, get some trees and things around. Very good, very good. And then I'm wondering whether we could just utilize some of this space a little bit more. Maybe some plazas in here actually this park fits in there perfectly let's do that um and then over here yeah that's like a separate sort of road isn't it have we got something that will fit up on this side yeah i think what we're going to do is use some of these park buildings here just to add which one's this one these are the restrooms so i'm going to add let's say a couple there next to each other we've got the cafe which really think we're gonna to have to get that in now that needs to be in a park doesn't it that one i think is close enough to the road here that it's actually just counting so maybe yeah just like a i'll say truck stop cafe but it's got a nice little seating out there yeah a little small cafe why not um and then we've got the park info booth i think we popped that one in haven't we what about one of these will that go in the middle there oh look at that that nicely stretches from side to side over there and then all we need to do is add a few little trees. We are getting sort of close to the beach down here. So why not a few little palm trees in here? Oh, that's about as much as I can get in there. Looking nice, looking nice. And we've got some space for some decoration. Uh, I'm wondering what to pop in there. I am thinking again, we could keep going with the zoning. Let's just check how our zones are. If we bring this one over. And in fact, I'm going to take this now all the way down to there. And I'm thinking a bit more wall-to-wall -wall office zoning around here would not go amiss. Let's pop that in. And then maybe even this section here. 
and then this bit around the side here i think we'll go back to our standard zoning like this and that might just let's take that little one out there close off this area here nicely around our cricket pitch yeah looking good looking good lots of people upgrading as well so obviously they're liking the area that they're living in which is what we want to see Fifteen we're getting up to what do we need for the next unlock 20,000 good grief so that's going to be a bit of a jump um so how much have we got in night owl height on its own 1600 so maybe hopefully some more will move in uh, and we'll be able to hit that target what i do want to do is just bring this out a little bit here because we're going to need schools that is going to be a big problem let's just have a look so elementary school yeah it's all over that side high school all over that side university we don't have yet which is fine and public library okay so i'm thinking now of using this little section here for our schools and we do have as you can see here a high capacity elementary school which won't fit in the middle but we can sort of get it nearer to that bit as possible there and then if we come over this side we should have a high capacity high school which again I can get that as near as possible before it jumps to there that's making use of this little spot here everybody's very happy which we like to see how's traffic by the way still 92 percent we are going to get a bit of a slowdown as we said people are coming in but we seem to be okay got some parking on these roads which i didn't want and this little cut through here is getting a little bit busy which we sort of might expect really i'm just wondering whether would some traffic lights uh, assist on this junction if i pop those in we just sort of keep an eye on that for a couple of minutes i think we've got we've got traffic lights up here no that's just giveaway signs isn't it i don't want too many traffic lights near each other because then they start causing issues and problems particularly if people are going straight across let's leave that going and see how it goes we may change this road up a little bit and have this one connection here but the next connection further down instead of straight across which i, I think that's what we're actually going to do now that i'm looking at it yeah let's do that and that will change things up a bit so it's t junctions rather than so if we go there and take out this one there we go so i have to go along and go down and i think that will work much much better which means we don't need traffic lights here on a t-junction that's just silly we'll do that uh, we may pop some in unfortunately we're getting hawky walky lane switching we might pop some in there there's nothing much i can do about this with everybody using the one lane for straight on all right i am just thinking could we go for a three lane four lane what's this one three lane here and then we do get a dedicated turn oh no i can't can i of course it's the trolley bus ah darn it no can't do anything like that okay we'll have to go with what we've got then yes trolley bus it's fine you keep going don't you worry about it but the new area here is looking okay isn't it no problem at all excellent was just thinking about expanding this area a bit and realizing we've probably got a problem with our water over here being polluted now that we've expanded this and we have oh dear uh, let's maneuver that one if we can a little bit further down and hopefully that will be okay at some point we will have a better water system area built it's eight percent i speed that up four percent zero percent hopefully that's as far as that's going to go um, how much water do we have we're sort of running out but nobody's complaining we just got a lot of deaths darn it how did i not notice that uh death care yeah we do have coverage available so yeah as tight yeah i thought that was up to 15 now it's gone down i didn't notice it darn it we'll stop that empty and i don't mind that staying there and i think we might just utilize a little bit more space at the back here for some more water wall buildings and i think it shouldn't be too long and then we should be hitting that target so let's see what we can do
Hey, there we go. Capital City, 20,000. I was just expanding a little bit off camera, and yeah, we just hit it. Excellent, which is great. And we've unlocked a couple of extra items. The peanut bowl, I love that one. But one thing we are going to have to do very soon is add some mass transit into this area because we can see traffic has started to become a problem as people are moving between the different areas and at the minute we've only got this sort of one cut through here from one side to the other i think we will add maybe another way on and off the highway down there um but i'm thinking a metro through there but we'll, we'll look at that a bit later but yeah i've just expanded that out this way a little bit and there's lots of room for decoration around here i'm thinking i'm gonna do a decoration live stream what do you think about that let me know in the comments below and uh, that's gonna have to be the end of that one i'm afraid i'm running out of time today so thank you very much for watching if you haven't seen it yet check out my dev diary deep dive that will be listed on the screen and subscribe so you're here for the next one thanks for watching have a fantastic day take care Bye bye